I'm gonna reply to some comments. We should reply. I want to make a video right now. Pull up the, the comments on this screen, and I'll uh, respond to them now. Oh, yeah. I just want to respond to your comments that are watching the tracks world. A lot of people, Max seems like an asshole, but when you're running a very expensive belt, this guy understands. Some people think I'm an asshole, bro, chill out, what the fuck, I'm Mickey. Uh, like, come on, he's a good guy. Yeah, I understand that, you know? Let me explain something to you. There's Mickey right here, so on and so okay. forth. I've been in business for 20 years. I'm exhausted with the mistakes, I'm exhausted with the, all the extra shit. I wish I had the patience. All right, some of you sitting here watching YouTube, doing God knows what, and the only business plan you've got is going like this, okay? And um, uh, that's your problem, that's your thing, but I've been in the trenches for 20 fucking years. So, I'm not here to curse you out, I'm just here to explain to you that running a business and going through this process and dealing with the reality of people isn't, uh, you know, isn't a picnic. You can't be everybody's friend. All right, people have to do their jobs perfectly. You have clients, you have people that are relying on certain things. There's money flowing around back and forth. So the real thing I want to say is, what the fuck do you guys know about business? Stop being a grumpy boss. Say this to you, damaging your business. Of course, staff are going to excuse belittling your behavior. You do say it's justified. You know, drama king, right? This guy right here, and a lot of people uh, agree with him. Uh, yeah, I, I, and in a perfect world, I don't have the temperament to deal with it, but I'm really, really frustrated after 20 years. And what I've learned about human beings is that they're lazy and deceitful. I'm not saying that about Mickey or about Melissa or some of the people working here, but it's not all fucking peaches and roses. You know what I'm saying? They gotta do what they gotta do and everything will be good. And if not, sometimes you have to be a fucking asshole, right? You're not supposed to be liked by everybody. Fuck all that. Do what you gotta do. I gotta handle what I gotta handle and that's it. So just my little explanation to the rest of you who don't like it. I'm showing you behind the business and how it's done. When you're a boss and you have some fucking shit going on and you have people that are actually relying on you for a living and a paycheck and they're bullshitting around, we'll see how you do it. This guy right here is another one. Bro, you are a terrible boss. You know what I'm saying? To be honest with you, I agree with you to some degree. I'm exhausted. I'm tired of dealing with stupid shit all day long, one mistake after another. I've been doing, I'm 37 years old, I've been doing this for 20 years, my friend. I've been a boss for 20 years. And, you know, I'm not here to be nice, I'm not here to be this, I'm not here to be that. I gotta get the job done. I'm, I'm psychologically exhausted. The, most of the time I've, I've been in this universe, I've been responsible for people working, making mistakes, lying, and so on and so forth, and I'm psychologically exhausted by it. You want to do a better job, start a business, hire people, we'll see how you do the first the time they steal from you, the tenth time they steal from you, the tenth time they lie to you and drive you crazy and go through all this. This business is built on trust. It's built on a lot of things. And that incident, I wanted to have a positive attitude. I was going to see my boy BLB Kosher have a positive attitude. But when you're sitting here and someone is telling you something, some fucking nonsense, it, it drives you crazy if you've been doing it for 20 fucking years. So... Some days um, it is what it is, some days I'm not. Be thankful that I'm giving you a window in, inside of a business and how it runs. Because if you want to have a positive relationship and a positive time, you got to do your job correctly. You got to communicate proper information. You can't frustrate people. You can't frustrate a client. All right? You got to come through. You know, he totally disrespected Mickey in front of the workers and this and that. And he's loyal. Yeah, I, I, I agree with you. I, that's not what I wanted to do. That's not what I wanted to do. But sitting there waiting and waiting and waiting while he's saying it five minutes, five minutes, instead of telling me the actual information, can drive a person fucking crazy. You know, it could drive a person fucking crazy. It's fucking frustrating. Just tell a person what the fuck is going on. But whatever. It is what it is. You're much more likable when you're humble. Yeah, well, I got to build a business. I'm, I could be humble if I'm sitting, on, sitting down and having a good fucking time. But when you have to actually build a business and be responsible for shit, it's not so simple. That's what I'm trying to explain to these people, man. Positive attitude, but I wasn't able to do that. I wasn't able to do that because I didn't have the proper business communication information. It's frustrating and annoying. You know? It's just frustrating and annoying. When people, especially after 20 years of it, if people telling you this, that, just communicate clear information and you could avoid all this trouble.
Yeah, this person understands. So I want to thank you, All That Matters 7960. For anyone saying he's too harsh, uh, uh, doesn't get it. He's dealing with a lot of high value. Communication needs to be key. Smooth transaction customer experience is on the line if it doesn't uh, work out. And it doesn't look professional. And that's true. And I wish I could have just been sitting here calm. But people have been wasted my time and wasted my life for 20 fucking years. The savages in those diamond district lying, saying, saying something is coming, it's not, and telling you five minutes, ten minutes. They drive you fucking insane. And it's just, and when you actually have to build something from scratch and deliver it, it's tough. It's not a bed of roses. And if you ever took a real peek behind real businesses and real companies, you'd know what you're dealing with. A few group of managers, they got to manage the business, and I sit in that fucking corner, and I do my own thing. Because I can't handle this shit anymore, and all these excuses and explanations. Yeah, guys, just responding to some of the people in the comments that saw the video. As you can see, me and Max are next to each other, as always. We're all good. Nothing, nothing, nothing bad really happened. And like I tried to say in the video, I made an honest mistake of not relaying the information to Max, which I tried to relay in that video. It was a mistake on my end. I've worked here for five years. I should know a little better. It was a fault on my, on my end. And it happens. We're all good. Life goes on. Business goes on. Everything's okay, guys. Right next to each other, right here. See? <laughs>